welcome back everyone. This will be our last video of our 30 days of gaming challenge. This would be the tw day 27 through 30. So let's get right to it. Uh, day 27, most epic scene ever. Most epic scene ever. I mean, the one that really stands out to me is the the scene, the opening scene in God of War 3, where Kratos fights Poseidon, I think it was, and you have sort of multiple layers of that fight with Poseidon, and you weren't quite sure how big this creature was until, like, the very end of it. So, that scene by itself, I want to see that on IMAX. That's what all. That's all I'm saying. I want to see that scene in IMAX. God of War. You just don't get any bigger than that. So, epic scene. God of War three intro. All right. Day twenty eight. Favorite game developer. Favorite game developer. Well, I mean, I love developers. I mean, I love a lot of developers. But the ones that you know, mess around with storytelling. I always find a special place in my heart so studios like uh, Naughty Dog okay? with the uh, Uncharted series and Jack and Daxter I've always enjoyed those games uh, studios like Bioware with Mass Effect and Dragon Age and I've Mass Effect one of my favorite science fiction stories of all time you know that's just one of my favorite games in the series um, what else I also enjoyed uh, Remedy I love Max Payne, I love Alan Wake, I'm sure some of you have seen, maybe I put up a bunch of videos, story videos of the Max Payne series and a bunch of videos of the Alan Wake ent series entirely, with all the DLC and stuff, I just love the way they tell their stories and sort of cliche movies stuff they got in there and I've always enjoyed their work so I would say those are my favorite game developers. Alright. Day 29, a game you thought you wouldn't like, but ended up loving. Now, I thought that was the whole, uh, in the first video, when they said, uh, what's your favorite guilty pleasure, I kind of thought that was what it was. But, you know what, I can pick another game. A game you thought you, you wouldn't like, but ended up loving. Um, you know what? I thought I would hate, hate Borderlands. Because I'm so sort of story oriented and stuff like that, that I really, I need story to sort of push me forward. Sometimes gameplay isn't just enough. I need a little bit of character development to push me forward a little bit. So when I've heard of Borderlands, I was like, oh, just shooting and ranking up. Uh, I don't know. This doesn't just, I don't know. It sounds kind of boring to me. But then I played it, and I mean, the story's bad. There's no like story to that game. But. For some reason, I just really, really loved that game. I couldn't stop playing it. And the majority of the time, I was playing solo. I wasn't even playing, you know, four-player co-op. And I still was having a blast, so... Borderlands, definitely a game that completely and utterly shocked me. I was not expecting to love that game. And Borderlands 2, can't wait. Alright, our final question in Day 30 is... Your favorite game of all time. Now, if you have not seen any of my other videos, I'm sure you guys already know what it, what it is. It's, you know, Metal Gear Solid is Legend of Dragoon. I can't pick one over the other because they're both my favorites. I cannot pick one over the other. I really feel that everything I've talked about, half of everything of all these videos were all about Solid Snake or, or Legend of Dragoon. I feel like I talked about them more than anything else. In, the, in all these videos, so, my favorite game of all time, Metal Gear Solid 1, you know, that was the game that really, I looked at and I was like, holy crap, you can have storytelling in video games, that's what, that was the moment when I knew that games are going to go far, and I wanted to be a part of it, I was like, this is going to be big and awesome, I cannot wait, you know, to see 20, 30 years down the line, how games are going to develop and stuff like that. And Legend of Dragoon was one of my favorite RPGs of all time. And uh, just characters, I just couldn't stop playing it. That game had four CDs as well. And I just, it's in, you know, it's right next to me, my Legend of Dragoon disc. I would never sell it. It's in pristine, 
conditioning so it will always be perfect I would never allow anyone to touch it and that's pretty much all the uh, 30 days of gaming questions there so I really personally I had a blast doing these uh, videos and talking to you guys and and if you guys wanted to give I, I would love to see more people do these kind of 30 days of gaming challenge stuff I think they're fun and uh, to let you sort of relax and just talk a little bit so thank you guys so much for watching this video even if it's just this video not the other ones I, I had a blast doing it so all you guys take care and thank you so much for watching